All right. We are when we give the, them a uh, test, it will. Uh, we, if we give them quiz, for example, or test or final exam, we are looking at a uh, testing. Okay, their cognitive skill. Apa yang mereka ada. Okay. Kalau individual assignment, alright, individual assignment, it is considered as effective. Okay. All right. So, okay, betul. All right. So, just go here. Okay. So, this is from our BBK again. All right. So, we have, uh, this is the normal, the conventional, yeah. <coughs> conventional, we have pembelajaran berpusatkan pelajar yang lain. Yang ni yang I nak highlight, yeah. Sebab sometimes you are confused. Sometimes pembelajaran student-centered learning tidak bersemuka. Pembelajaran terarah ke diri. Okay, student-directed learning. Okay, so yang ini akan masukkan dalam yang mana? Kalau dalam table 4 yang baru, which one? Which part of the table 4? I think I assume that you have seen the table 4 before tak? Okay, yang ni nak letak di mana? Okay. So, pembelajaran arah kendiri ni semua akan letak di asynchronous. Okay, sebab it is unguided. Okay, so penilaian berterusan, ujian pemerintahan persembahan dan sebagainya will be in SS1. Okay, this is uh, contoh, alright. This contoh is. So, uh, this is how we list up apa yang kita nak buat, right? So, final exam, 40% consists of essay. Jadi, essay adalah 40%. So, assessment time, 2 hours. Alright, preparation hours, 4 kali, 4 kali dan uh, waktu um, assessment time. Alright, SLT 10 hours. Okay. And then the coursework. Like, tetapi dalam table 4, okay, this is just our guide, alright, to uh, fill in the table 4. Tetapi sebenarnya dalam table 4, ianya, the, the recent table 4, it is much more easier. Okay, let me just, okay, so yang ini, uh, I go back to the course lah. Uh, I will show you the latest. This is the part. Okay, boleh ke CW boleh dilakukan contohnya quiz tadi, kognitif, alright, saya kumpul tu, and then uh, yang ni, yang ni pula, alright, CW 8 SLT, alright, okay, so saya tak apa nak pergi tunjuk the table 4, alright, just let me just so, some example, yeah. Assessment is uh, evidence of learning attainment. So we have a direct and indirect. Okay, so yang ini yang tadi masalah bila you cakap, okay, kalau saya buat psikomoto, kalau domain dia psikomoto, boleh tak, um, boleh tak uh, guna presentation. Alright, so some of them, some of the psikomoto is indirect. Okay, alright. Uh, some of the direct Senang lah. The direct is really easy for us to see. Alright. Assessment that demonstrate learning, it is, can be observer, observable. Alright. Contohnya, online oral examination, interview, viva, online presentation, uh, final year and so on. We observe what people, students do and then we give marks. Alright. We might pr prepare rubric and uh, for example. And then we can also do 360 assessment. Okay. Yang ini for for example, for master students, for doctorate students, we can do the three. We can do the three sixty assessment from the uh, from the supervisor, from the lecturer, from the students, and so on. All right. So this is direct, and there are also indirect assessment, unobservable. Contohnya online quiz. All right. Okay. So and then project assignment, project report, pre-recorded video, and so on. All right, we don't know the 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 uh, to what length, okay, to what measures the student 
uh, prepare their pre-recorded video, for example. Okay, we ask them to produce video, written assignment, and so on. We cannot observe. That's why we cannot see the psychomotor part when we ask them to do a written assignment. Okay. Or e portfolio. Okay, you cannot see the process, but you can only see the end product. Okay. Okay, so this is from our USM assessment guideline. All right, this is some um, guidelines for the uh, different assessment method. I think the assessment is uh, quite hard for lecturers to prepare. They put your SLT. Sometimes that's how. Okay, kalau exam dua jam. Cukup ke tidak? Kalau saya letak lima jam. Alright, so this uh, guide will help student. For example, berapa word? Sometimes, uh, uh, for example, during this COVID-19 lah. Alright, we are doing um, online exam. Okay, so ataupun we are giving them some essay to replace the exam lah. Kalau di USM, now some of the courses we give them choice. All the courses lah, we give them choice. Uh, you can change from EW. To CW. So, berapa kalau the CW, the EW is 40%. So, how many words, how many um, uh, essay that the lecturer should give to the student. So, we use this. All right. So, for example, if the written assignment is 100 words, okay, so the SLT will be five hours. Project assignment, pre recorded video podcast, okay, this is. Um, one hour and then our, the hour uh, uh, of uh, pre, uh, presenting, okay? And then the preparation is four hours, then SLT is five, okay? And then or, or, online oral examination, okay, they have to present five bubbles here and so on. So it's four, okay? And then preparation three hours and then SLT um, four hours. And as such, okay, so multiple choice question. Kalau soalan dia one, uh, one hour, so preparation time uh, three hours. And then preparation time for students, okay, and then SLT will be four. Okay, so this one, real time dia or non-real time, okay. So this SLT is to the All right, so I think that most of you already downloaded the the uh, your table four here. Okay, so just do that. Okay. Okay. So, uh, you, uh, who are not familiar with the website, you just Google and then look for them. All right, so for ODF. And the document for the other for our edition two, I have a prepared, a prepared class show you uh, yesterday. All right, and and then uh, table four, the latest day four, okay, July. Here, all right. When did you download it? Oh, I have to table four. Put that. What? Let me show you this one. All right. We are going to look at the SLT for three credit. Okay. For example, so this is in the table four. Look. Okay. So later on, I'll show the table four, but. Uh, I just would like when you do the table four, your table four or of the course in ODL program. Okay, we are looking at, for example, the grand total SLT is, is 120. Sebenarnya, this one is automatically um, created by the table four form. Okay, and then. You can see here, SLT for assessment, automatically generated, 36, all right. This is where we know our course is conventional or blended, okay, or blended. 
or it is ODL. So for ODL, the number B should be more than number B. Like the B section should be more than 80%. All right? Should be more than 80%. SLP. But Tazim, yeah? uh, saya sebenarnya ada masalah ni, Dr. Zida. Uh, yeah. Program saya, uh, bila kita buat uh, uh, table 4 ni, um, adi, uh, bila kita tengok dekat index, ya, kesemuanya dah jadi ODL. Tapi masa dia apply, conventional. Uh, kalau saya nak share dia punya dia punya table 4 tu. Ah, later on. Okay. Lepas saya cerita pasal ni, nanti Dr. Ah. Uh, PM Dr. Rosita tengok uh, uh, macam mana saya buat. Uh -huh. Then you compare with your document and boleh, lepas tu boleh share. Kita tengok okay. apa yang masalah di situ. Boleh? Okay. Boleh, boleh. Alright. Okay. okay. So, uh, if let's say we see the SLT for online in, and independent learning component is less than 93%, then it is, sorry, less than 80%, then it is learning. Okay. Except for the component, need to be more uh, less than less than twenty percent. Okay, less than twenty percent. Right. So, yang ini yang saya akan highlight. That the, I will highlight this during the we do the um, during the we do the um, table four. All right. One more thing that I would like to highlight is this one. Okay. So this is important when we do the table four because we have this the course content subtopics CLO okay CLO ni nanti uh, just you put uh, week one week two week three uh, uh, match to CLO right all right we have face to face all uh, right physical online or technology mediated okay this is synchronous and then we have none face to face independent learning and it is called asynchronous. So, the words selalu ter, um, confuse this thing, terkeliru this thing. Alright, then it, this is the total SLT. So, yang, yang sangat penting dalam table 4 to make sure that whether your uh, your course will be um, 80%, kalau ODL must be 80% and above SLT. The, the way you do this uh, should be uh, correct so that at the end you will have your credit hour correct and your SLT correct. Okay. And, okay. This is the formula. Siapa yang nak ambil gambar, ambil gambar dulu. Supaya nanti bila you all do your uh, table 4, uh, you will be able to use this particular formula and try. Okay. So, this is a formula for assessment of SLT. Selalunya, usually when we use uh, the our Excel form, apa yang kita buat adalah kita letak assignment 20%. Okay, for, sebab yang ini I buat uh, for ODL ya. So meaning that I have a presentation ODL. Alright. Jadi tak ada physical, semua tak ada. Alright. Quiz pun I do online. Alright. So, uh, 20% presentation uh job and our minutes and then we we have um one correct right, the one hour and percent and then article review uh, it is a uh, non face to face or not face to face online lah maksud alright so it is done uh dekat belakang sana kemudian buat sendiri okay so this is the formula that I said sebenarnya this is the a simple excel formula that will help you Kira nanti dia SLT Independent learning Okay, so yang ini yang saya beri masalah Bila Tiba-tiba uh, Dia tak boleh Okay That can help you Your uh, uh, Let me just Table uh, Lima minit. You can. You can. Say that
saya uh, bagi rehat dulu lima minit. Tapi aku akan berkongsi lima minit. So, we will be here at 10 to 15 minutes. Alright. Okay, doktor.
Okay, kita start book, ya. Alright. So, this is uh, question. Doctor Sharif, nanti saya jawab privately lah sebab you hantar saya. Uh, and then soalan daripada Dr. Rosli, cara tulis jika topik week one ada dua CLO seperti CLO satu dan CLO dua. Boleh tak ditulis CLO dua siman week, week satu CLO satu, week satu CLO dua. Uh, boleh. So this is a table for you. Saya harap semua dah uh, dah dah download. Alright. So namakan kos anda lah. Okay. Namakan kos anda. Uh, namalah apa uh, saya buat uh, teknologi komunikasi. Alright. Contoh. Okay. Dalam. So the cost code is PGT436 E. Okay, letak cost qualification. Ada drop down kat sini so you letak uh, elective core ke whatever. Uh, kalau MPU letak dah compulsory. Kalau major letak dah major dan sebagainya. You have identified that. And kan uh, sinopsis. Okay. Uh, this cost. Okay. Letak dah apa. So, it's not sick of what you would need. Copy and get the CD. Make the academic stuff. Alright. Alright. Master, your offer is 3D. Master, your offer. Okay, so that 
all the CLOs in your program. Uh, CLOs. And then, CLOs are going to cover the uh, method that are you going to uh, use. All right, and then for assessment methods, okay, how are you going to assess student attainment of the learning outcome using the assessment methods? So for example, your CLO have CLO 1, C3, Cognitive 3, applying to the work technology apps for teaching for example. assessment methods will be um um so the question will be something like okay, you teacher and then the COVID-19 uh, appeared and then how please try to apply the technological um uh, uh, Skill that you have in certain environment. Uh, the questions in the exam should have apply in the question lah, directly or indirectly. Sometimes you can apply. Sometimes you need to put the apply so that C three. Okay, this let's go back to the uh, cognitive. So that I identify the method, right? And F cluster of learning outcomes, all right? This is similar to our uh, conventional class, all right? Conventional program, sorry. Uh, it is a bigger word, all right? Action where uh, the lecturers la, always have a problem. He just add <coughs> all this. Okay. Uh, okay. Subtopics. Right. Uh, that's it. I found. CLO because they have three CLO, three topics here. By the time, one, one, one uh, semester, we have 14 weeks, so you need to be so, And then you are going and you are going to Boleh saya mencela, Prof? Boleh ya? Uh, ini saya dah saja nak bagi just a suggestion or whatever I do not know. But the topic, the course content outline and subtopic, sometimes we just put the topic and to me, that's not useful for the student. Because previously, previously, we put the topic and then put the resources with chapter, page, uh, article online. And I would like to suggest I think it's good for us. We just, for example, in my subject, I put the uh, classical realism, for example, and then I put the article of which uh, book or article to be referred, you know, page, whatever, because based on um, previously, before MQA, we put very, very detailed, that useful for the students. That in this case, just put the topic, I think it's nothing. All right. Thank you. So, yes, respond. Uh, 
I think uh, to get clear, I mean, get a piece berapa, whatever, we just put the topic, uh, the topic, because that, that for will not be given to the students. All right, the before will not be given to the students. This is the underwrite, the guidelines for lecturers and guidelines for the uh, HEP. Jadi, uh, ianya tidak perlu dilapis berapa, apa dan sebagainya. Tetapi, uh, what I uh, did or what we did in the end, kita adalah kanan pengajaran okay, uh, semester, okay, instruction and planning for the semester. In there, okay, we follow one sebab uh, tu before face the students. Kalau saya boleh mencerahkan doktor Actually di yeah. UMKS pun We have the lesson plan ah, Dan yeah. memang I agree with you Everything yang uh, The detail tu macam topik What is the subtopic What is the resources What is the assessment Apa aktiviti kita buat di situ adalah di dalam lesson plan So that yeah. one I agree with you lah The detail one must be in the lesson plan This so, one is only cost yeah. information kan for the for our administration part this is the letter I mean for my first lesson then I put IOT uh, internet of things in education then I have some small uh, subtopics that I would like to put in uh, IOT IOT uh, and so on boleh letak but not that particular detail yang letak page berapa apa resources sebab di bawah sini uh, of uh, we have until we the students which is the students should be able to have the lesson so that they will know what they are going to get throughout the semester what assessment they are going to encounter and then whatever lah activity page whatever kalau you nak buat sedikit mana dalam lesson plan is up to you tapi dalam dokumen ni di uh, ni um, kind of content tajuk macam topik apa tadi CLO3 tak semisi you arrange CLO1 sampai CLO3 you can match okay it is mix uh, it is matching the uh, topics with the CLO tak salah kalau CLO2 berada di sini okay tak jadi masalah lah as long as semuanya match CLO dengan uh, the topics alright okay Dr. Rosli is it possible uh, 
ditulis seperti ini week 1 CLO 1 dan 2 salah ke? Ah, tak salah. Mungkin you boleh cover 2 CLO dalam satu topik. Okey. Tetapi sebaiknya kalau you tulis tu mungkin you akan cover satu CLO saja. Uh, mungkin you tak cover kedua-dua je dalam satu minggu tetapi kalau terjadi sedemikian ianya tidak salah. Okey. Uh, ianya tidak salah ya Dr. Rosli. Ha, tapi sebaiknya kalau uh, satu, untuk satu minggu saja, why not uh, kita fokus on satu CLO tetapi uh, mungkin we are looking at the major CLO yang you akan address in that particular week. Major CLO saja. Senang nak tulis dekat sini sebenarnya. Alright. And then, okay, CLO, we go to here. Ha, yang ini yang menjadi salah. Alright, yang ni yang selalu jadi masalah Yang macam PM Rosita tadi cakap Buat-buat-buat tiba-tiba kelas konvensional Tiba-tiba jadi ODL Alright, kenapa? Alright, so uh, This is learning and teaching activities You have face to face, physical And then you have face to face online or technology mediated Okay, jadi kalau apabila anda Okay, your course is Physical, physical face to face conventional, don't touch this one unless you are doing blended. All right. So, unless you are doing blended, baru you letak sini. Kalau you are fully, um, fully um, conventional, then this is the one that you need to put. Jangan letak yang sini. Okay. Alright. So, physical means L is lecture. Okay. Kalau you you have a, a conventional class, biasanya you akan letak sini. Okay. If you have a conventional class, you will have two hours. Yang ini saya kira sebagai tiga kredit dah. For example. So, lecture two hours, tutorial one hour. Okay, then when we have three, when we have three uh, hours of um, guided, okay, face to face, then the independent will be three hours as well. Apa maksud dan face to face independent learning? Meaning that what they do alone dekat bilik mereka, dekat bilik hostel ke, dekat rumah mereka ke. So it should be equal to the physical. So kalau tiga jam untuk guided learning, tiga jam jugalah yang non-guided learning akan berlaku. Alright. I hope that's it. Sikit doktor, doktor. Yeah. Nak tanya tentang tutorial. Uh, uh. Let's say we have a uh, hundred student. The tutorial we have to divide it into three group. How many numbers minimum and maximum? Tak payah. Yeah. Yeah. Tak payah. Tak perlu. So meaning that dalam ini you you are considered one student. For one student ya. Yeah? Okay. Maksudnya uh, you have two hours of student learning. Dia kena duduk dekat dalam lecture. Seorang so, student they need to sit on a lecture for two hours. That is their learning time. Okay. Jadi kita tak payah divide lah kalau kita ada 10, uh, 10 orang student. Yeah, my, my, my question to tutorial. Tutorial group. Tutorial yeah. sama jugalah. Maksudnya, they have to sit in that particular tutorial class for one hour. Yang ini kita kira 120 credits ni, uh, 130 hours SLT ni untuk seorang student. So, tutorial also the same number as student, yeah. tak perlu, perlu pecah-pecah. It is not your, it is not your time. It is their time. Meaning that kalau saya masuk kelas doktor, let's say, okay, saya akan duduk di kelas tutorial doktor for one hour. Okay. Jadi kalau doktor ada uh, 100 students and you have uh, for example three groups for example itu tak kira dekat sini. It is not your time, it is the student's time. She or he will sit in your lecture for two hours duduk dengan kuliah. Then they will attend the tutorial class for one hour. And then yang ini three hours adalah dia independent learning for this particular topic. Yang dia duduk, okay, sebelum kelas I rasa I nak study uh, IOT Nak tengok dululah what is IOT So saya pergi dan saya belajar Saya selak-selak the whatever notes that you have uh, put in the online in your platform 
So this equal to dia sebelum dia masuk kelas, masuk kelas atau sebelum dia masuk tutorial plus after the class they would like to do some um, whatever lah independent study yang dia duduk seorang-seorang yang dia buat. So the total physical or online guided uh, learning will be same as the non face to face independent learning. Okay, saya harap uh, that is clear. Uh, not so clear. Uh, for example, I have a hundred students and then I give a two lectures, two hours lecture and then one hour tutorial. Is okay? Yes. Okay. As long as you capture the individual kan, maksudnya uh, ke student yeah. tu, yeah. dua jam dia duduk dalam lecture, okay lah. So what, what, my, my question is because the number of students 100, is it compulsory? We have to divide into three groups because more effective no. in the tutorial? No, no need. No need. The, the hour here is for the students, for individual students. Okay, thank you, thank you. Uh, for individual students. Jadi maksudnya, the 120 hour itu adalah bilangan dia belajar dalam satu semester for this course. Okay, 120 jam. Dia belajar untuk this course for then for him or her to be able to dapat A ke B ke C after the examination, after the uh, kita pergi mesyuarat majlis perperiksaan, dia dah go through the 120 hour of dia punya SLT. Okay, tak kira lah dalam grup mana dia berada dalam tutorial pun, should be the same. Alright? But in, in reality, we give a two hours lecture, that's a lecture and then uh, based my experience when I did my degree and master's, we have to divide into small group to be more effective. You know, we have to analyze all the topic in the lecture. So, so. That is tutorial uh, kan? Yeah, tutorial. Jadi, when the students, uh, okay, but the students, dia pergi lecture, dia hadir tutorial, okay, walaupun tajuk dia berlainan, mungkin uh, minggu ni tajuk dia berlainan, tapi dia kena go through all the tajuk for that particular class punya tutorial kan. Jadi, setiap tutorial, dia akan hadir sejam. Walaupun mungkin minggu ini tutorial dia, tajuk dia lain dengan kawan dia, Tapi minggu depan dia akan encounter mungkin kawan dia punya topik lah for example. Then should be okay lah. As long as dia punya pembelajaran 120 hours, should be okay. Okay. Okay, thank Instruct you. Dia, thank ya? you. Ah, okay. Alright. Saya so, uh, soalan. Doktor. Ya. Yeah. Boleh tanya satu soalan. Ya. Yeah. Uh, so macam keadaan sekarang kan yang kita buat blended learning ni because of uh, the pandemic ni. So kita tidak ada fizikal. Tapi mm -hmm. kita tidak juga buat synchronous, kita buat asynchronous saja. So, uh -huh. we put that one. Okay, for so, blended learning. Kita rakam video, kita letak dalam kita punya smart LMS, like that kan? Yes. So, that one is asynchronous kan? So, how do Alright. we in the table for? So, uh, saya tadi ada uh, someone comment and uh, uh, ask me, asking me to uh, speak in English. Alright. Okay. So, uh, sorry because the question was in Malay. Uh, how, uh, however, I try to address in English. Okay, so if you are, we are talking about blended learning, the asynchronous will be here. Okay, because it is independent learning. Okay, yeah, doctor. So it is independent learning. Whatever uh, during your blended learning, uh, meaning that uh, now you are uh, recording, you don't do the synchronous face to face. What we call guided learning. Guided learning can be both. It can be face-to-face -face physical, okay, meaning that you go to your lecture and then you go to your tutorial, all right, that is guided learning physical, okay, it is within the four walls, okay. The face-to-face the -face online or technology mediated synchronous, meaning that you are still uh, meeting with your students, for example, if you have two hour lectures, you are going to do the Webex for two hours, right? And then after that, you might have one hour lecture, all right? So, and you are there to guide your students. It might not be lecture. For example, you are not going to do lecture, but you are going to do others, meaning that during that class for two hours, you are going to do activities with your students. You are going to ask them to present. 
Alright, whatever. So it is others. O is for others. Tapi, but you will be with your student for two hours. Then it will be synchronous. Either you are using WebEx, either you are using Google Meet, either you are using uh, Microsoft Teams, Zoom. Okay, it is considered as synchronous. Okay, however, let's say you record your video. Okay, meaning that uh, for next week you have class, but you are not planning to meet your students uh, at 9 a.m. on Monday. You are not planning to do that, but you are going to give instruction, okay? Uh, next Monday, for next Monday's class, I'm going to prepare a video, a short video. Please, okay, the instruction is important. Please watch the video that I put is my UMS. And then after you have watched the video, please do an activity and then and then answer the questions or please do the quiz all right so you must finish this within two hours okay so that will be independent learning so that's why seem Self-instructional material is important. In self-instructional material, you are going to include instruction for your student. Okay, notes for your students, assessment for your student, activity for your student, which will cover the two hours. Okay, jadi for for example, in week two, you are not going to do this. Okay, okay. week three, for example, yeah. Ah, uh, this one you can see here. Week three, I put six for asynchronous learning, meaning that I don't have a physical meeting, I don't have a physical uh, lecture, I'm not having a physical tutorial, no, I'm not going to have uh, an online lecture via WebEx, okay, tak ada. and I'm not going to do tutorial via WebEx, I'm not going to uh, have a practical, uh, a virtual uh, lab, uh, via uh, whatever, okay, via WebEx as well, okay? and then others, all blank here under face to face, either physical or online. So in here, in here, you, you will see that I put it as six. So this is to answer the question just now, uh, meaning that if you are doing blended learning in your conventional and you are doing a, a synchronous uh, teaching and learning. So you should put six here, meaning that all the six hours of students learning will be done independently by the students. So the six hours, we will calculate using the blended formula, which is one uh, article you have uh, equivalent to uh, how many hours then uh, one hour recording is equivalent to how many hours is it like that? Yeah, yes so correct. we don't have I mean, to because if we use the conventional conventional we have to for example we have the physical or we have the synchronous plus the independent learning yeah. but if we do synchronous as synchronous then meanings we only calc uh, we assume that all <coughs> those part is done by student, so we don't have to plus again the independent learning, is it? Yes, That's correct. Using the formula of the blended learning, right? Yes, correct. Meaning that you have 10 minutes video equal to one hour SLT. So in your uh, smart UMS, you are going to put 10 minutes video that equal to one hour as of SLT. All right, so oh, you okay. have covered one hour SLT there. Lah. Then oh, you have okay. one activity, for example, online discussion. Then 10 oh, minutes okay. online discussion will equal to one hour SLT. Okay. Then you have assessment, uh, sama lah macam tu. So meaning oh, okay. 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, lebih kurang ya. Uh, yeah. yeah, then you will have three uh, hours of, uh, you know, uh, unguided learning. Uh, then the other three hours will be their independent learning. So you you must match that with the uh, blended learning guidelines pula. Kalau uh -huh. you untuk uh, apa, unguided asynchronous ni. Okay, okay. thank you, Dr. Alright. Okay, then uh, 
bagi khusus yang ada kuliah 2 jam dan amali 3 jam setiap minggu bagaimanakah pengiraan non face to face adakah jumlahnya sama dengan 5 jam alright dr azha um, you have uh, you have your um, lecture for 2 hours and then you have your practical 3 hours so um, what is the credit hour for your students ah uh, okay what is the credit hour for the for your course for example yeah i just give an example here okay you will have uh dr dr azha will have lecture two hours there okay okay ataupun he, he will have uh two hours of uh lecture and then he will have P is practical, three hours of practical. Okay, so meaning that for that particular week, okay, you will have five hours. Okay, when you have five hours here, the independent learning might be 10 hours, tetapi you must also consider the practical might not, okay, um, be, uh, what we call it, students will not be able to uh, do independent learning for that particular practical okay meaning that you have the uh, the lecture two hours this one you have one hour that extra two plus one right you have two plus one here so usually we are going to put one here all right for the uh, tutorial for example however for dr azhas one you will have three hours of practical so you can look at this for the non face to face kalau eh, sorry tinggal three okay so for non face to face you are going to have supposedly 10 hours however you must consider the practicality so will under that particular topic the practical it's 11 o'clock the students are the students will will they will the students do the independent learning at home okay consider that all right so meaning that it can still be three okay okay or it can be two here okay you can adjust that because you need to clear be you need to clear yourself about your uh, course all right meaning that if let's say you put three practical here will the practicality be covered in the independent learning kalau if let's say it is not covered in the independent learning so you don't have to put the independent learning here okay maybe the independent learning only cover this one okay faham tak so uh, you can adjust here yes yeah? about the practical might not have independent learning uh, for students at home okay it is only guided learning because you are in the lab or in your your uh, workshop for example then it doesn't occur independent learning in your particular course so it might be only two here or so nanti all right so like if let's say it becomes like this maybe you can see that here it becomes 84 dia dah jadi lebih all right so you must try to match yeah uh, sebab sometimes yeah we know that some of the course is uh, quite different you have more practical and then or maybe if let's say you have practical here which is three hours and then you have the uh, the lecture two hours all right maybe you don't have you can put it here something like this lah okay you can avoid so but you must make sure that the student learning time does not exit okay 84 here okay Ini kita tak payah nak guna macam PTD yang uh, 40-40-20 tu kan? No, for ODL we don't do that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. 
All right. All right. Uh, let me see here. If we conducted both online teaching and record, okay. Uh, what if we conducted both online teaching and recorded video? Okay. So let's say if you have a recorded teaching, uh, you you have recorded video and you have online teaching. So you must adjust here. Okay. For example, you have. Uh, physical uh, online teaching and uh, asynchronous. Yeah? So let's see, uh, I adjust yang one, this one. In week, week six, you are going to have an online lecture, two hours. Okay, so you are going to meet your students. Okay, and then you are going to record video for your student for extra whatever lah ataupun uh, whatever you, uh, for your whatever purpose. So you can add here. Four. All right, meaning that that is a combination of uh, this one, a two hours lecture via Webex, and then you don't have the tutorial or practical for others here that you are guiding the students uh, synchronously. Then you can add one hour here. That is the asynchronous that you prepare video. But remember, it is 10 minute videos lah, uh, for your student. Macam tu. So you can actually play with the time, okay, be according to your own teaching and learning methods. Okay, it is not strictly okay. Every course must have lecture, must have tutorial. No. Okay. Okay. Jadi, it is up to your design. That's why in the beginning of this session, just now I mentioned about the constructive alignment from your course learning outcomes towards the assessment, towards the teaching and learning activity, because you are going to do this. All right. Sometimes, you know, people just put, okay, we have, kalau, if you know, in the, the, the real world, sometimes the real situation, sometimes you can see the lecturers in your institution, they just put, okay. One, you tak fikir pun. They don't think about you know whether they have practical. Oh, mungkin practical is obvious. Okay, I put practical here. But when the others, they are afraid of to put the others. Maybe they have discussion with their student. They don't have actually the uh, the kudia the 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 lecture. So you can put two hours here. It is not wrong as long as your CLO can be achieved through that particular methods, all right? Okay, okay, 100% online can. Uh, the uh, PM Rosita, the, the test deck, can we do 100% online synchronous and asynchronous, but we do physical assessment? Yes, yes can. Meaning that you do all this, you don't have physical at all. For ODL, yeah? Delete this, delete this, delete this. Delete the this. ODL, the ODL. Ah, uh, ODL. Okay, so no, nothing here in the physical part. No others. All right, just put it like this. Okay, so semua kosong di sini. Then you adjust the uh, teaching and learning face to face to be hundred percent. Meaning that here you have three. Maybe you have. Uh, uh, Others, you have discussion, okay, you have one practical, okay, and then uh, you just adjust lah, macam tu saja. Then, when you have, jadi saya betulkan uh, my, my ni supaya it is easier, nanti saat lagi kita nak calculate the, we are going to calculate the SLT for assessment, it is a bit tricky, okay. So, we have uh, one here. Okay, so this will be three. Okay. Okay, step. This is two. Okay. All right. The thing off. Then we put one and two. We put the yeah, upper side. Yeah. Just make sure that we have the exact uh, student learning time for teaching and learning. All right. Thing off. We have a uh, little bit ready. Let me just take this one. This is three. This is three. Okay, 93. Jadi saya kena delete sikit. Okay, yang ni saya, I just put ya. 
it is not uh, correct. Just I would like uh, this one to be this one, or this one, but right, this is one. So, ada yang lagi tak kita cukup itu. So, just put this. Two, this two. Okay, yang ini this is not correct yes. Oh yeah, patutlah sini tak okay. Katalah macam ni. Alright. Then we have eighty four. Alright. Uh, Dr. Dennis was asking, uh, what is the minimum percentage of synchro? Asynchronous learning time for ODL courses. You can do 100% asynchronous. You can do 100% synchronous. It is up to your design. As long as it is, uh, you know, if let's say you say that uh, your course don't need a synchronous, uh, but I think, you know, you should have like, a bit of synchronous so that, you know, the sense of belonging to a person uh, you are not doing a book whereby, you know, your students uh, don't have to see the lecturers and so on. But uh, basically, you can, you can do 100% asynchronous. You can also do 100% synchronous or you can combine both. It is okay. All right. So meaning that uh, it's up to you lah here, Dr. Dennis. Okay. So I think it's clear in terms of this part. Okay, remember, remember the asynchronous learning that you prepare video and you prepare activities, you prepare uh, whatever, uh, which is non-guided will be here. Okay, jadi jangan, uh, please don't be confused that, you know, you need to put the asynchronous somewhere here, you have prepared video and so on. No, it should be here. That's why sometimes you you have six here because for example six here because uh, you are going to do all synchronous okay right Yeah, this one okay so we i hope this is clear okay uh, another question if one course will be implement, implementing two types of methods example semester one this year this course will be in odl method whereas on semester one next year in ptg uh so are you suggesting this course have to Proforma according to semester. Okay, I don't understand this, uh, Sherry. Meaning that um, the one that I'm mentioning today, I'm doing today is only for ODL. Okay, meaning that whatever you put in the table for, we, for a course will be done throughout the program. Unless you change the table four, then when you change, meaning that you change the activity and so on, then it will be changed lah. However, if let's say you, let's say you um, uh, would like to do a blended and um, online, okay, so it is, it should be in different uh, satu di penawaran conventional, okay, the first one will be in the, pen, uh, the uh, conventional methods and the other one will be under ODL, okay. Forget about we in the pandemic situation. Uh, assume that we are in the normal situation whereby uh, we offer two programs, one is conventional, one is ODL. Whatever you put in the ODL version should be implemented for ODL program and you should follow that. All right. And for conventional or blended, it should be within the conventional. All right. You cannot like this semester I'm going to do uh, ODL. The next semester I'm going to do uh, blended. No, you cannot do that. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Azira. Yes. Okay. Sebab saya terfikir uh, ODL ni 
go on the yalah uh, online 100% punya pembelajaran kan so yeah. kalau kita buka and then tiba-tiba dah tak ada covid and then we want to go uh, back to ah uh, you see okay. uh, that's why i think about the covid i think you know yes. uh, uh, for this particular situation lah at the moment uh -huh. it is a special condition so it is okay lah if for this a semester you are doing it online and next semester mm. you are going to do it blended but however mm. at the moment that this particular program the pro mm. program that you are doing now is a conventional one we just do it mm -hmm. as odl because of the covid 19. okay mm -hmm. uh, okay so thank you no worries about that thank okay you. thank you all right so i think it is clear uh for teaching and learning uh part here yeah? all right Okay. So now I'm going to go to Okay, so I have 84 SLT for the uh, uh, three credit yang I assume that it is a three credit lah. Maksudnya kita dah, we have decided uh, the course coordinator and the lecturers have decided that this course is three hour credit. So the total SLT uh, for teaching and learning will be 84, all right? So this one, you just adjust according to your uh, preferences or the need of your CLO. Okay, so let's say in my course, okay? In my course, yeah, I have one assignment, all right? Okay, for cost assessment. I have, cost assessment is 100% juga lah, all right? This is, okay? So meaning that I have assignment 20%, okay, uh, this is a continuous assessment. So I have assess assessment 20%. I have presentation 20%, all right. I have article review 10%, all right. I have quiz 10%. So I am going to do all the continuous assessment uh, using synchronous uh, a technology mediated synchronous or online synchronous uh, uh, methods. Okay, for example, my students will present uh, uh, whatever like I give them to do presentation for hand, half an hour. The time for them to present per person will be 30 minutes. Okay, and then I have a quiz maybe uh, two quizzes, okay, two quizzes, but uh, it is one quiz, 30 minutes, so uh, for two quiz, it will be one hour, okay? All right, so I have no physical face-to-face uh, -face, uh, assessment, okay? So this will be empty lah, don't put anything, unless you are going to put the presentation, physical presentation, katalah, you know, you would like them to do the presentation in a normal class in uh, with, within a four walls, then you put 0 0.5, okay? Then, okay, remember, yeah, 0 0.5 for individual students. Tak kira lah kalau you ambil masa, you take time, like five hours for the students. You have to stay in a, you know, to do the presentation, to wait for the students to present for five hours. Uh, it doesn't count, it count the 30 minutes for each student, okay? All right, so then, okay, you can see that if I put 0 0.5 here, I put 1 here, then the total SLT is 1.5 for assessment. So, preparation for presentation, okay? Let's say you have to present 0 0.5 hours, 30 minutes, so how? Do we count the non face to face, meaning that they prepare the PowerPoint presentation, they prepare the, you know, bercakap, they, they talk, they speak in front of the mirror, for example, you know, to pronounce and so on. So this is non face to face independent learning. Maksudnya, if let's say they are speaking, they need to do something, they are presenting, they need to do something to prepare for the presentation. So this is the non face to face independent learning which is now it is empty and uh, what is the formula okay if let's say biasanya usually uh, lecturer they just okay agak agak they will agak agak they will estimate okay if uh, 30 minutes presentation maybe we need three hours for example okay uh, 
3 hours to prepare ha, Mungkin lah kan this is our agak-agak So the best thing to do is Alright so for example you have a presentation Physical uh, 0 0.5 And then you don't have a, a synchronous So what you do is you use this formula Okay formula ni kena hafal You need to memorize this formula to help you Tapi I dah I have include include it here all right okay so it is actually an excel formula all right so what you can do is you just type the formula here so use the uh sama dengan okay equal to all right so of uh bracket so the uh percentage of the presentation will be 20 percent so put it the percentage 20 out of 100 okay then uh close the bracket and then you times all right times that is the uh the, in excel that is equal to times so the the star small star it is equal to if, uh, equal to a uh, times okay if you are not uh well versed in excel then another bracket all right so you can see that uh, we have uh, this is the percentage okay people lost all right and then okay uh, the credit hour the credit hour for okay. for uh, our the three credit hour cost is 100 SLT lah kan? Okay, we need to have one hour, 120 hour of SLT. All right, so this is the total SLT. We minus the SLT debt for teaching and learning, which is 84. Then close the, close the um, bracket. All right, then we have 0.5 alamat dah terkira pula 0.5 um physical they have to present so we have to go back and then we add minus 0.5 okay then it is the non phase to phase independent learning for assessment will be 6.7 so you don't have to uh, estimate this is the exact time that they need uh, to uh, for their own uh, preparation for this presentation 6.7 hours all right similar to assignment okay for example assignment we don't have a physical meeting to do the uh, assignment and then we don't have physical uh, online meetings for uh, doing the assignment so we don't have to fill in this but we are going to fill the independent learning to prepare the assignment before they submit the assignment. So use the same formula again. Okay. Uh, equal to uh, bracket. Uh, it is 20 out of 100. Then times bracket. Um, 120 okay the total SLT for this course minus the 84 84 okay so we don't have the minus outside here because this is empty all right then you just enter then it is 7.2 all right then I have article review for example it is 10% so the 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 calculation is similar, all right, sama saja. Okay, you just uh, go to this particular part for independent learning, for preparation or for uh, doing the article review independently at home or at hostel and so on. Right, what you can do is do the formula again. So this formula can be memorized. It is easy. So you just go there, all right, and then it is 10%, so 10 out of 100 close the bracket and then times another bracket uh 100 
and 20 minus 84, then you will get the time. 3.6 hours to prepare the article review for the students. All right, then we have a quiz. Okay, remember the quiz have uh, it has uh, one hour. Okay, one hour of they have to do the quiz online. Okay, in the platform, for example. So what we can do is go click here and then do the same formula. Okay, equal to. Uh, it is 10% out of 100, okay, and then uh, times bracket, and then 120 minus 84, all right, and then we have one hour here, remember, so go back here, minus one hour, okay, so then we will get 2.6 hours of preparation for the quiz. Okay, so now we have total SLT for the continuous assessment is 21.6. All right. Okay, so similar to final exam. All right, so similar to final exam. Okay, so you have, for example, 40% for final exam. So they are going to see, for example, like PM Rosita just now, she's going to do a, a face-to-face face -face, uh, exam in a hall, for example. So it will be two hours, okay? So you don't have to fill in here. And then, all right, same as just now, okay? What balik? Equal, okay, 40% because the exam is 40%, sorry. Uh, but 40% out of 100, and then you times bracket 120 minus 84, all right? Then you minus the physical two hours, okay? Two. So it will be 12, uh, so 12.4 hours of preparation for two-hour physical uh, exam. All right, so then you will have total SLT for the exam will be 14, 14.4. Uh, All right, so this is the total SLT. Uh, Dr. Zahir bertanya, 84 represent, 84 represent the SLT for teaching and learning here. Okay, so yang ini, we have uh, calculate just now. All right, berapa, how many uh, hours for uh, online learning, physical, and so on. So, it equal to 84. All right. So, then 120 is the total SLT for three credit hour cost. Okay. And then, how do you determine the weightage for each assessment? Is it based on SLT time for each CLO? All right. The weightage for the the, the uh, assessment <coughs> is your is for you to decide all right meaning that what uh, based on the clo okay uh, for example the e clo require you have a cognitive clo back to my first uh, uh, the, the previous not the previous not yesterday the, the earlier presentation all right, you are going to have, uh, you are look, going to look at the CLO, then you will decide the assessment, okay, then the weightage of the assessment is uh, based on, is, sorry, can you please mute your mic? <laughs> Dr. Kim? Dr. Kim, uh, can you please mute your mic? All right, so, meaning that, you are going to determine the weightage for your uh, for your assessment. All right. Okay. So. Uh, yeah. Okay. In UMS, actually, we uh, determine the weightage. Ah, uh, tak dengar lah. 
sorry okay the cousin dah sorry okay ah uh, in UMS actually we determine the weightage of the uh, assessment is based on uh, the time spent on that CLO so that's why the like that one of the lecturer asked either based on the SLT okay so for okay. example for CLO one we spend eighty percent of uh delivery on that cell or one only so meaning the assessment of the cell or one must be 80 percent so but maybe it's break up into four for example yeah, uh, yeah. so but the combination of the cell or one must be 80 percent so that's why all right. i think the lecturer asked okay thank you for the information all right thank you so uh Dr. Saizal, if we have both ODL and conventional program that are identical and run concurrently, does the assessment need the same, be the same in terms of type assessment, delivery method, and marking distribution? Okay, for the type of assessment, if it is totally the same, just different between the conventional and ODL, so the 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 type of assessment should be the same lah because the CLO will be the same. The, the um, uh, marking distribution should be the same, just the delivery method will be different. So maybe the conventional one will be face-to-face -face or face-to-face -face physical assignment or whatever lah, the presentation will be physical, but online will be, um, uh, the ODL will be online. So the, the, the difference between between the is uh, on the delivery itself only okay so because you know we, usually we have the conventional and the um odl you know the, the odl replicate the conventional okay uh, so it should be the same like you replicate that particular program and then dr mawani what is the minimum uh, what is the minimum number for teaching and learning SLT? All right. The maxi, actually for 100 credit hour, it is advisable that you have two plus one. Two plus one uh, or one, 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 meaning that three hours of guided learning and two hours for unguided learning ataupun meaning that six hours per topic lah. Okay. So meaning that it should be 84. 84. All right, uh, you don't put the assessment more than meaning that you don't do the assessment more than the teaching. Okay, because the assess you need to do the teaching first. After that, or with the, between that, okay, in the progress, you are going to do assessment. So uh, we would like to advise that for two credit hour, so three credit hour, the the, the total. SLT for teaching and learning will be 84. Okay. So, tak ada minimum lah. Okay. It is advisable for 84 hours. Dr. Zahir, so it is percentage of marks kali total credit minus SLT allocation tolak. Yes, betul. The formula is, this formula is what Dr. Zahir uh, uh, write down in the chat box. Yes, betul. That is, this one, the formula, okay, is equal to the SLT, uh, the S independent learning SLT. Okay, uh, saya, saya malas nak baca the, 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 the description. So, in betul lah, whatever you have described that. Okay, Dr. Suzy Lawati, doktor kita ada 14 minggu pertemuan dengan pelajar dalam satu semester. Adakah test presentation itu kita buat dalam minggu tersebut atau di luar minggu pertemuan? Alright. Test presentation should be done, uh, actually it is your design sebenarnya, saya tak boleh nak cakap uh, within that particular uh, week or uh, outside the 14 weeks, alright? Yeah, it doesn't matter sebenarnya. Alright, it doesn't matter whether you do uh, uh, within the 14 weeks or after the 14 weeks. Alright, should be okay by the mana pun. Sebab, uh, however, 
uh, kena tengoklah pula jangan mengganggu student punya uh, study week and so on lah but uh, it is up to you. Okay. As long as you cover the CLO meaning that um, your CLO is uh, about the presentation. Uh, the presentation covers the CLO too. For example that if you would like to do the uh, presentation within the week and the CLO2 is in the middle of your weekly, uh, week one until week seven, then the presentation can be done within that particular 14 weeks. However, if you know until uh, week 14, you still have, you know, uh, the week 14 will cover that CLO that will be assessed by presentation. Maka, so you have to do the presentation outside the week 14 lah uh, sebelumian okay so it's up to you okay no minimum or maximum slt for teaching must be 84 84 it is advisable for 84 for three credits all right for three credits for uh for Jadi, you kena buat pengiraan lah kalau if let's say uh, the, your cost is 4 credits, then you will have 2, 2 and then 8 here. Alright, so yeah. Okay, so uh, Dr. Sharifa, what you can do, you have uh, 4 credits. So, if let's say you have 2 lectures, alright, okay, sorry, 2 lectures and then you have two tutorial so it is four four hours then your independent learning should be proper four as well okay so the total for one week should be eight hours all right so kira lah then you will become it will become 112 here okay for teaching and learning so um, you need to put it, you know, design this to make sure that it is 112 for four credits. Okay. All right. And then, uh, uh, does it apply for the total SLT? Cannot make uh, be more or less. Has it, yeah, we advise you all to be exactly one. 120 last time okay before we have this table for the latest version of the table for you know we found that some costs have SLT more than 140 for three credit hours they letak letak they only put you know according to their assumption and their estimation okay we would like we don't want the student to be heavy in terms of SLT so it is advisable when you design your program make sure that for Three credit hours, three credit cost, it is 120 SLT. Okay. Cannot be more. 121, when we audit, we say, please change it to 120. All right. Why do you want the one extra hour? Okay. So please. Uh, yes. Okay. Meaning that uh, what are the SRT for the topic. So for the topics, meaning that uh, one topic will be around four hour, eight hours, yeah, eight hours of SL, including if let's say you have here lecture but you have one tutorial only, then this one should be five. Okay, uh, so you need to adjust that in the table four. All right. Okay, so I think that is important in uh, uh, the, the table four because uh, the SLT will yep uh, PM Rosita eight hours per week for four credits okay betul lah ni kalau four credit it will be like you can adjust okay if let's say you you don't have the synchronous learning you don't have the uh, synchronous tutorial then this should be eight hours independent learning if you have asynchronous class for a four credit course okay so i think then you can see that okay jump saya kena betulkan sikit sebab saya nak tunjuk uh, i can i must like this 
and then three so that I'm going to have this 85, 85. I'm going to say a bit, two, one, two, one. Just, just, okay, one, two. Okay, I have 84 here. All right. When you have done your SLT, all right, uh, you must check. I have the, uh, the continuous assessment, 21.6. I have the final exam, exam 45. 14.4, the total SLT for assessment is 36, all right, then it is correct, lah. okay, and then the grand total of SLT is 120, okay, jadi, you can see that, yeah, this is an ODL program, so the SLT for face-to-face -face physical, okay, physical component is 2 point oh eight hours only so then the um b percent slt for online plus independent learning component is 97.92 so my course this particular course is an odl course okay so if let's say you put it here you put physical and so on but you want to do uh you still want to do uh, an ODL, okay? If let's say you have put more feet on physical face-to-face -face and suddenly this part becomes like 12.8, not 12, 22.8, then this become less, so you need to adjust the teaching and learning time, okay? So uh, to make sure that your cost total SLT for online is more than 80 percent all right and then percent SLT for all practical component is 7.5 okay so and then as a percent SLT for physical practical component tak ada. okay and then this is automatically generated from what we have include here all right, so this is important. Let's say you are doing a conventional table four, so meaning that you must make sure that the SLT for physical component need to be more than 80%. Okay, terbalik ya. Okay, so the SLT for, um, for online learning need to be less than 20%. Also, this can be considered as blended learning juga lah. All right. So, if you're doing blended learning, please make sure that your online uh, teaching is no more than 80%. Okay. Yang itu pula, itu blended learning is something else. Meaning that you have to arrange so that you have um, uh, online and physical and your online need to be more than 30%. Uh, yang itu cerita lain. All right. But this is for ODL only. Okay. I hope it is clear. All right. So I think this one is, you know, this is uh, something that is normal. Okay. I forgot to mention when you have this uh, clearly done, you can see that the, the green part here, okay, yang tadi, I ask you to make it, uh, don't put anything it will be automatically identified as three credit three credit course okay so if let's say you have one for 140 here under the slt total okay if let's say you have 140 here then immediately your cost the credit value uh in green color here will be increased to four credits okay so I hope you, uh, it is clear for you. Any more question? Let me have a look. Okay, so Dr. Rosita, I would like to, uh, she would like to share the table for of the program. Okay, please do, uh, Pam Rosita. Okay. I can unshare my uh, slide. Okay, okay. This is basically uh, a master's uh, table for for one of uh, the master's program, um, 
bila dia prepare ni saya rasa mungkin uh, pemahaman dalam uh, mengisi table 4 tu yang agak kurang lagi. Kalau doktor nampak ni ya, eh? nampak eh? Semua ah, dia nampak. punya nampak eh? Yes. Ah, dia punya semua saya dah suruh dia betulkan sebab semua dia dah jadi ODL dah. Sampai nanti 5.59. So saya pergi ya eh, one by one dia punya ni bila saya tengok dekat sini. Uh, ah, pengisian di sini Dia ah. banyak ah, pengisian di sini ah. Okay, so I think I, I can clearly identify the problem here hmm. Okay, but I would like somebody else to do it for me uh, Siapa nak, nak volunteer? Can anybody volunteer to 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 uh, comment on this particular SLP? Anybody? Ada tak nak 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 comment on why it becomes the ODL? Kecil sangat lah data Zida. Boleh minta. Kecil sangat. Ah, besar sikit. Kecil ya, kerja kerja ya, saya besar kan. Ah, yes. Saya pun buka cermin mata ni, tak nampak. Masih belum apa. Sorry, muda 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 mudi ni kan? Ya yeah, ya yeah, ya, yeah. sorry sorry. Alright, okay. So anybody would like to comment? Nak tengok uh, uh, pengetahuan you all after, uh, after our session ni. Alright, so Dr. Dennis mentioned uh, too, uh, too little of uh, physical component. There are two Dr. Danjadi cakap uh, online, there are, two, there are too much online component. Alright, the teaching and learning is being done online only. Yes, Dr. Agnes, Dr. Priscilla, independent learning should be equal to the physical time. Yes, as well. All right, too many hours for the technology mediated. Too little physical hours. Okay, semuanya pandai-pandai belaka. Yes, it is correct. Okay, and I uh, really like the answer from, tadi mana tadi? Um, independent learning. Okay, you can see that they don't understand that uh, 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 PM Rosita, this course is how many credit hour course? Uh, this is uh, a credit, this is a PhD program. Okay, PhD program? Yeah. Of uh, uh, coursework, yeah, coursework component? Yes, yes. Ah, uh, all right. So, let's say, okay, uh, you are look, start looking at the number one. Okay, number one is the operational mental health and so on. All right. So the lecture is one hour physical only, and then one hour, one hour lecture okay. online, and then you will have one hour independent learning. All right. So independent learning should be two hours. Yeah. All right. Because it is equal to the two hours of uh, physical uh, and online synchronous learning. Mm, However, yeah. okay, because there are too much, uh, too much online learning here, then mm. it becomes the ODL course. So, when it is a conventional teaching and learning, okay, it should be more physical compared to the online learning, satu, all right? And then you must remind them that the independent learning must be equal to the uh, physical, with the, uh, not face-to-face -face learning. In either, if you have face-to-face, -face, two hours, then the non-face-to-face -face independent learning is two hours. Meaning that why it is two hours, the two hours um, the two hours asynchronous face, face learning, okay, face to face learning, it is the preparation, you know, meaning that uh, before lecture, they might flip through the notes and so on. They might go to your uh, LMS to see what uh, the lecturers have prepared. So the two hours, we are giving time for them to be independent, uh, semak semak sikit and sebagainya. So that's why it is two hours. However, if the, the, the lecturers are, is not going to do the physical or the uh, online 
synchronous learning, then it can be four hours for independent learning. For example, if the lecturer put a video in the uh, LMS, okay, but the video pun mesti ada, must put uh, around one hour of SLT or two hours of SLT, then you can put four under the uh, non-face-to-face -face independent learning. So the most, um, uh, apa, the, the, the problematic area for this particular uh, table four is the too much online learning and as well as the non face to face to uh, tidak cukup. All right, tidak cukup. Tapi ada juga yang five. All right, so yeah. you, you can see that you know in uh, uh, topic, topic uh, 30 ni, all right. <laughs> Suddenly you have one uh, physical and one others and then one online and then the independent learning is five. So if you have like two, two, one, five, then this one should be ten. Eh, sorry, betul, betul five, betul. All right, so if, let's say, tetapi you must remember that, you must remind them bahawasanya you need to be clear on the independent learning as well as the uh, uh, guided learning. Saya suka lebih cakap guided learning face-to-face -face or ODL or online learning. Okay. Saya rasa clear tu. Memang nampak uh, obviously they put too much uh, um, too yeah. much uh, hour on the online part. Yeah. Nampak, eh? nampak. Ha. Uh. Uh. Lagi satu, uh, I think uh, you should ask them to, uh, ni tengok, uh, bila tengok dekat the credit hour, betul tak? Saya rasa dia adjust nanti bila sampai sini, ada yeah, credit hour. Dia ada yeah, six credit, uh, kan saya rasa dia buat uh, subject research project ni. Hmm. Uh, research project, jadi that's why bila research project, Kebanyakannya adalah independent learning Bukan yeah. uh, kuliah and so on Tetapi mungkin sebab this is uh, This is a coursework based uh, doctorate So yeah. they have kuliah and so on lah uh, yeah. So I think the, 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 that will be no problem Jadi bila you come to this part You can see that um, The online component is more than the face to face component so you need the, the lecturer need to adjust this one all right mm -hmm. and then uh, adjust the time all right the slt for this one it was meeting with supervisor have settled all right mm -hmm. okay so it's okay because it is a research project no problem okay cuma jangan letak semuanya online Alright, for conventional course, it should be conventional lah. Okay, as, tapi we, uh, we are allowing, we are allowing uh, lecturers to have landed. So meaning that whatever you do, you must make sure that your course should be less than 80%. 79% should be okay of the SLT, should be okay to be uh, done mm. uh, online. Yeah. Okay. But 80% dah tak okay. Uh, so they just need to adjust the SLT. Alright, PM Rosita. Alright, thank you, thank you. Okay, I stop. Okay. Okay. Alright, so any more question uh, from the... Okay, for tough topic independent learning can be slight more yes you can for, for example like uh, pm rosita just now it is a research base so you don't have to put like so many kuliah so many tutorial and so on if let's say it is a very tough uh, or uh, research based uh, uh, course it will be only independent should be okay meaning that you guided learning should be also there because you know even it is a research course uh, the lecturers need to help the need to guide need to guide the supervisee right uh, so there will be also a guided learning but uh, remember uh, jangan kiru don't be confused because we are independent okay this odl is for 
normal situation uh, during the pandemic if let's say your course is now being online it is only for pandemic uh, situation and one thing i think uh, i would like to highlight this uh, some of us uh, uh, are quite uh, concerned because uh, for example in usm lah uh, we have our uh, last semester online 100% online this semester semester 2 also we have online so does it mean our program is an odl program can anybody answer me siapa tahu okay we have done the online learning uh, throughout the pandemic last semester semester 1 uh, to you know semester 2 2019 2020 and then we have now is semester 1 and then it is still online. So we have two semesters of our uh, teaching and learning online. So, ah, okay, bagus. All right, we have the answer here or say no. Tadi orang pun cakap it is ODL. It is still conventional. Okay, why? Because, no, the, the answer is incorrect, Dr. Vatana. Not because it is guided learning, because we still have face to face. Okay, uh, not because it is guided learning, Dr. Vatana, but it is because uh, the program itself. Okay, we need to consider the program itself. For example, uh, for a student, this is his or her second year. All right, so during the pandemic, he has two uh, semesters online. But before that, in her, his first year, he has his program face-to-face. Uh, -face. Okay, face-to-face -face for semester one, semester two, semester three. He, uh, semester three still face-to-face. Uh, -face. Semester four, baru dia dapat, he has to be in the pandemic situation online. Semester five also online. So the whole program is not an ODL program but because it has the component of face-to-face -face during uh, the previous semester and inshallah for the next semesters. Okay, so that's why. Yes, that's why our course, our course in our university can be considered, still be considered conventional, not ODL. Okay. Uh, the program usually approved as conventional first by MQA or KPT. Uh, Dr. Naraini, okay, there are uh, two, uh, uh, dulu, yeah, last time, yes. Um, meaning that if you would like to uh, do a program accreditation for ODL, for non-ODL institution, for non-ODL, dulu-dulu, they kata misty, wajib. It is compulsory for the HEP to have a, a full um, full accreditation program, conventional, to be uh, replicated into ODL. Okay, dulu. But now there is a new regulation. You can start scratch with a new uh, program, but you must follow the the the. Apa? Procedure lah, yes. going through the provisional accreditation. You submit the form. Provisional and for ODL, okay, like I mentioned like yesterday, you need to, uh, the ODL uh, uh, auditor like me, I'm going to go, for example, if the MTA uh, call me to review, I need to see your readiness, your institution readiness for the ODL, okay? Me meaning that if let's say you only have the platform, it is not, um, it is not, that does not mean that you have, you are ready for ODL. We are looking at very comprehensive that I mentioned, that I shared yesterday. All right. Yeah, what document baru apply ODL? Apply for uh, accreditasi sementara dahulu, provisional accreditation. All right. Yeah, betul. 80% uh, online baru kira ODL, betul, for the program. Dr. Azizah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Surya. Uh, first time for your great info. Hey, Kak Long ada sini. Well, very good. A lot of info. And Tania to UMS for 
uh, having this session eh. Cuma maybe tak ada ada terlepas you nak menjawab soalan tentang how do you determine uh, to place 10% 20% maybe i can help on answering that yeah? yeah. Uh, uh, boleh profilasi boleh jawab ah uh, okay sebab i know that you have given a lot of information uh, basically uh, they depend on the niche of the program of the of the courses kalau course to more on psychomoto so percentage uh, to evaluate our assess student Psychomotor will be higher. Let's say uh, they nak tengok psychomotor skills. So you have emphasized on psychomotor assessment maybe more than 30 to 40 percent. So basically that is one. So secondly, they also depending on taxonomy level. Let's say taxonomy level C2 for PLO1. So C2 basically, basically we don't pass so many questions there. Maybe we will just confine to quiz or small short essay and so So basically that is one lah. Eh? And then it's also a course surrounding course assessment plan because each courses must have course assessment plan. For example, 10% of 10% of student SLT equivalent to 12 hours. Okay, 20% equivalent to 20 hours or 3 credit lah. Yeah? So it will improve uh, according to the percentage given. So basically, uh, tadi ada question tu. Maybe you dah jawab, tapi uh, I would like to give some more input lah tentang how do you determine uh, to give 10%, 30%. But your calculation is very good. Secondly, tadi mungkin terlepas yang 84, 112 tu, maybe ada yang perlu penjelasan. 84 comes from the, uh, independent learning and face-to-face uh, -face and independent learning. So 14 weeks times 3 credit will be 42. So independent learning uh, automatically will be 42. That will cost you 84. But then kalau dia 4 credit, 14 times 4 will be 56. So it automatically independent learning will be 56. So equivalent to 112. Yeah? So that, that is my take. Uh, Dr. Zida, there's a lot of info that I've gotten from you. Thank you and well done. Thank you, Prof. Surya. Thank you for assisting me. Alhamdulillah. Uh -huh. Thank you. All right. Uh, that's all Prof. Surya ada uh, pada hari ini. Okay. Yes. Uh, can I ask a question? Yes, Prof. Rati. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's quite fundamental. Lah. Uh, the first question is uh, with regard to beban pancara. Uh, I think uh, before this also we have uh, quite a number of discussion whether we want to organize ODL for certain program or not. And then uh, during the deliberation, uh, uh, we got some need in, in, in such a way that uh, some people say ODL ni uh, kita start banyak kerja tapi selepas tu ringan lah bila dia berjalan. Uh, what, what do you think about it? I think lecturer like, also need to know that. Okay. Kita biasa buat blended lah yang separuh-separuh sebelum ni kan? Okay, yes and no. Jawapan dia adalah okay. Meaning that, alright, soalan uh, Prof. Rashid tadi, uh, if let's say, uh, we assume that if um, we are doing ODL, the lecturers will be having uh, to prepare before and then they have, you know, after that they will be less uh, apa orang kata, masa masa untuk mengajar tu kurang dan sebagainya dia akan relax sikit lah okay, they will be much more relaxed after uh, they have prepared all the 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 uh, theme and so on, which is not true okay, which is not true, meaning that it is uh, depending on your design the design of your uh, course, okay, meaning that uh uh, if let's see the student, the lecturers has prepared the um, the prepare of the self instructional materials that I mentioned yesterday, all right. So it can help them for their asynchronous learning. However, we would like to encourage all the lecturers to have a synchronous learning as well. Okay, like blended as well lah kan? Dalam blended, di mana we we don't do 
only asynchronous we don't do only synchronous okay and then i think it is a need for the students to see the lecturers to meet the lecturers to feel the sense of belonging to the course okay they are not doing MOOC all right this is different from MOOC. this is an academic program they uh, they, they enroll in that particular course for 14 weeks for example so there is a need for the lecturers to be interacting with the students during the 14 weeks if you if the lecturers do only asynchronous uh, memanglah before they have to do the prepare the video and so on okay then they think that during the semesters they will be like okay much more relaxed about the you know all the materials have been uh, popped in the platform okay however it is very important for an academic program that we have interaction okay synchronous interaction between the lecturers and the students all right so that is my answer so uh, yeah sometimes it will be much more apa kata convenient bukan much more relax it is much more convenient in terms of the the materials have been prepared earlier so tak adalah uh, we nak masuk kelas baru nak prepare and all that and the students also are much more prepared it is convenient but nak kata much more relax tu tidak okay mungkin lebih berat kepada pensyarah sebab they have to prepare before and then they have to also interact with the students during the semester so that is my answer lah this is my personal opinion okay yeah, thank you bro thank you that. Uh, the second one i hope you still can uh, entertain our question okay. uh, with respect to pengiraan beban pensyarah kan uh, uh, for uh, performance uh, evaluation towards end of the year pembahagian tugas dan sebagainya di USM Dia ada beza tak untuk kursus yang ODL, yang F2F dan juga yang blended? Uh, disebabkan kami, kami we have the uh, school of distance education, alright, whereby all the PJJ or the ODL courses uh, is part in the um, uh, school of distance education. Whatever courses, uh, the conventional courses in other uh, PTJ. Uh, which is duplicated to be ODL in, will be part at the School of Listers Education. So the beban kerja will be the same for the lecturers, okay, similar as the normal uh, conventional course, cuma mungkin it is, uh, they are being uh, much more flexible in terms of mungkin the class will be during uh weekday weekend for example so uh, the the maybe they don't have to come to office during the weekdays okay if usm is very flexible in terms of that because we don't have to punch in we have to don't have to punch out and so on but as long as we meet the uh beban kerja yang sepatutnya for each of our lecturers it should be okay so uh, i think that and in uh, if let's say UMS would like to embark on the ODL, uh, I think the beban kerja of the lecturers should be the same. Okay, tak ada lah kata, oh saya mengajar ODL, maka beban kerja saya lebih banyak sebab saya kena sediakan video and so on. Okay, itu tidak benar lah. Okay, meaning that the beban kerja should be similar to uh, when we teach during the conventional uh, teaching and learning. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Zida. I, I ask the question because I think in Myra punya structure, dia ada line form berat lah. Uh, is, uh, still need to, to check lah. Uh, yeah, that's the last one, uh, Dr. Zida. Dari segi gabenan, say for example, uh, uh, your, your, your opinion lah from your experience kan. Kalau kami nak buat ni, do we need to have uh, one uh, special or dedicated department to do this? Ataupun uh, dia boleh by fakulti macam Dr. Zida mention tadi Ataupun setiap fakulti dia ada ODL program dia uh, Dan ma macam mana tadbir urusnya ada kalau okay. Yeah, thank you Yeah, okay, thank you Prof Okay, uh, yesterday I already mentioned about this Alright, so for a non-institution A non-ODL institution Alright, you don't need to appoint so many You don't need uh, uh, many ODL experts actually uh, And for UMS, you already got your e-learning uh, e-learning center Which is, I think, you have an ODL expert there Puan Salmi pun boleh jadi ODL experts uh, As long as she uh, belajar sikit-sikit uh, 
uh, menjurus kepada ODS should be okay. Alright, uh, prof form pun sama lah. So meaning that uh, in a, an institution, you should have a center. Okay, yesterday I mentioned you should have a center or a person that will assist your PTJs in terms of ODF. Ada seorang expert pun okay. Alright, ada seorang uh, expert yang boleh bantu uh, pensyarah dalam menjalankan ODL, mengetahui bahawasanya what is the requirement of ODL, how to teach ODL and so on. So, so untuk satu UF should be enough. Okay, tak perlulah setiap uh, PTJ appoint one person. Boleh juga, boleh juga but you have one main coordinator yang uh, for the whole university to to look at the ODL. Alright, kemudian yang itu memang syarat dia dalam uh, ODL punya MQA, you need to have a, an ODL coordinator for the institution. Jadi, uh, tapi bukan untuk semua PTJ. So, mesti ada dan juga you mesti uh, for the program to be uh, converted or to be, you want to make a new ODL program, you must, uh, the program or the PTJ must cari seorang expert untuk bantu. Okay, ada penasihat dari luar, pakar rujuk tentang how to do the ODL. Uh, jadi, uh, you know, you must prepare a form. Okay, so meaning that a form on area 1, area 2, area 3 mungkin sampai area 7. Then, uh, dia akan tengok, okay, your governance macam mana, you ada tak ODL, expert and so on. Dia akan bagi cadangan, adakah the program will be... Uh, Okey lah untuk dimasukkan untuk professional accreditation. Jadi the 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 form your, your institution should have prepared the form before uh, you uh, masuk untuk professional accreditation. Jadi penasihat luar ini akan isi. Okay, for example, the, your platform is okay ke tidak? And then your uh, self instructional material okay ke tidak? Telah prepared. Okay, at least for the first year punya uh, courses. And then borang itu akan dinilai uh, sewaktu uh, uh, ODL punya provisional accreditation lah. Maksudnya kita akan ada satu sesi khas. Kalau ODL, kalau program konvensional tak perlu ada uh, meeting. Okay, uh, uh, panel tak perlu pergi ke institusi untuk check. Tetapi untuk ODL kita akan ada satu sesi khas untuk menilai program itu layak atau tidak layak untuk dianugerahkan untuk meneruskan untuk meneruskan program secara ODL. Jadi memang ada lawatan untuk ODL. Ia je berlainan sikit dari konvensional uh, kalau uh, akreditasi sementara tak perlu uh, ni just hantar borang dia akan aku. Uh, ini yang berlaku pada uh, minggu lepas pun saya ada dua uh, lawatan untuk uh, akreditasi sementara sahaja untuk tengok ODL sahaja. Kita tak uh, Uh, kita tengok dia punya platform dah ada ke, ada ODL koordinator yang tahu macam mana nak jawab uh, tentang teaching and learning, okay. Uh, if possible, you have a, an instructional designer who help the lecturers to prepare the self-instructional material, it is much better. Uh, macam tu. Terima kasih. So, Sama-sama. Yeah. Alright. So I think uh, kita dah exit uh, 12 to 12 then. Okay, thank you very much everybody. Tadi saya uh, sebenarnya semalam saya ada cakap saya nak share the self um, instructional material. However, kalau siapa eh, tak sempatlah hari ni. Okay, so anybody would like to have a look, uh, just uh, email me. I can share uh, some uh, example of self instructional material okay uh, for those who, who, who like the slide that i share today nanti uh, i will send to the admin and uh, they will disseminate lah yeah all right so thank you very much everybody thank you very much for the questions uh, actually i also learned from you thank you very much okay uh, insyaallah uh, ada rezeki kita jumpa lagi assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very A good afternoon. Happy lunch, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Zida. Thank you, Prof. Sama -sama. Thank you very much, Dr. Zida. Thank you, Prof. Thank you very much, Dr. Well done, Prof. Dr. Zida. Terima kasih banyak-banyak, Prof. Surya. Ah, you are there too, Surya. <laughs> oh, are you? Are you? Reunion. Wonderful, you're here to help. Yeah, wonderful. Thank Miss you, you all. Huh?
Okay. Yeah. Take Thank care. You. Stay safe. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Thank you, Rahma. We miss. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Zida. Now, yeah. should I believe you, Dr. Zida? Thank you, Dr. Thank you, Dr. Zida. Apa Rosita? Bila dah boleh jumpa you? <laughs> ni dah jumpa ni online. Alah ramai lah <laughs> je kita ya. Eh? <laughs> thank you, thank you. Alright. Take care. Thank you. Take care. Okay. Once again, thank you very much. Well coordinated and well moderated. Not well moderated, Prof. Because Dr. Azida is very, very, very informative <laughs> and then so many things to absorb. So many things are clarified, so very clear. Yes. Very good. Yes. yes. Thank you. Thank you, Prof. Okay, what do? <laughs> Siapa itu? Allah, saya lupa tanya soalan. Dr. Azida masih ada lagi ke tidak? Tidak. Ya, sudah. Sudah keluar? Okay. Tidak apa lah, boleh kontak juga. So, um, thank you for all yang datang. Actually, sangat fruitful. Maybe next time we'll, we'll call for others yang memang pakar untuk bantu kita sikit-sikit for develop, um, apa ni namanya ni, our ODL program. Kan Prof. Densia sudah keluar ke belum? I think so. <laughs> yeah, sebab the next, the next step But is... Still uh, inside, still inside this session. Yeah, so, so the next step is for the faculty to decide whether they want to do an uh, ODL program which is suitable for the faculty. Itu yang saya rasa the instruction should come lah from maybe TNCA lah.